Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an Ikea haul. Uh, yesterday I went shopping with my sisters. They don't have an Ikea in South Carolina or not the one that I know of, uh, unless there's one. So I'm here in Atlanta and I was like, you know what, the girls um, haven't been to Ikea in a while, so I'm gonna take them there, kind of make a day out of it. And if you've ever been to Ikea, you know that they have like a first floor where it's like the checkout, the warehouse. Second floor is like the showroom. They have cafe there, a uh, small little restaurant with uh, some items. And then um, second or first floor, I forgot, but they have like three stories basically. And one of the stories is actually like a warehouse where you can pick up everything that you saw in their showroom. So I definitely would recommend making a day out of it, um, especially if you have kids. Um, you know uh, it might take you a couple of hours to get through it just to look at inspiration and i like how organized it is you definitely go through like different rooms apartment ideas uh, living rooms you look through kitchen space children areas uh, baby areas laundry organization um, and all that goodness stuff and of course you can cut through some of the areas if you know you're local and you always go to ikea for certain things so anyway without further ado let's get into this big old bag so one thing you learn is that they don't give you a bag when you exit out so when you pick up those little nitty gritty things um just kind of be prepared either bring your own bag or you'll have to buy this bag which is 99 cents which is not bad um you know you can always reuse this it's a marketing tactic but um the hardest thing about shopping at Ikea is that you can come into the showroom and be so inspired and it's like this is cute and this is cute and this is cute and they have price tags on all those things but you can't pick up anything from uh, the areas only like a few shelving spaces that have other items on it like you know little picture frames or little vases that you can pick up in the showroom but most of the stuff you have to actually go downstairs and pick up in the warehouse um, and warehouse is not as interesting <laughs> you know and sometimes you can get lost even though it is organized man if i can untie what i did i was trying to make sure that i didn't um drop anything out okay there we go so the total that i spent was 57 dollars, and of course it's a huge bag and these are some of the things that i picked up so i have not went through this thing that's why it's not open so if you can see right here this is like a plastic tray that can actually be put on the couch or on the bed a lot of times we have breakfast in bed like on Saturdays and I thought this would be really cool um, usually these trays cost about uh, you know a good quality in other stores will probably be about from anywhere from $29 to 50 depending on the material, but I thought it's white, you know, it's easier for you to clean. Um, it's large, it's square, it doesn't have like weird edges where you can't put a lot of items. So you can definitely fit at least two plates on there, two cups, and then set it on a surface. And for those of you who go, who are going to college, you know, for dorm room, this is perfect because it's only $10, no, $9, excuse me. So I'm gonna see how sturdy this thing is. And I guess it goes down. I was about to say, what is this doing? I guess you can flatten it out, but once you put it this way right here, um, the mechanics of it, you, it just pops right in. Like that. And you got a sturdy piece right here. So very easy to assemble. I mean, I can put it on top of the table like that. That's kind of crooked, but you can put your items here. Um, you could probably even put your computer on top. So it's definitely going to save you some space if you're going, you know, out to the dorm room and this is a way for you to eat your food um, because you're gonna have a roommate. So definitely a piece that I would buy. And it actually has a little hole here too, by the way. So you could probably put, you know, if, if you are putting your computer on top, this is not a computer desk, this is actually just a tray, but if you are putting it, on there you can put your wires through here as well so I, I like I like it 
um, and even even for the guests you know if you don't have a lot of space in your living room and you're serving tea and you're letting your guests eat downstairs or in other areas of the house this is a good way to um, serve some food then the next thing I bought is this piece right here um, these are actually two panels of like mesh uh, curtains they are really really long they're 98 inches um, and converted to centimeters it's uh, actually 110 centimeters no I'm sorry 280 centimeters so it's really really long but what I like doing with these um, is putting them underneath uh, the actual like thicker curtain uh, this way you can actually like for each room instead of buying two thick panels for let's say 25 to 30 dollars you can just buy one panel kind of swoop it to the side and put this underneath by by purchasing like one of those little metal pieces from dollar general it's like a pole that it goes around they're like three dollars you can get them at walmart and you basically put it behind the actual pole uh, like the curtain rod and then you can put these and it makes it very you know romantic looking but the reason I bought these um, is I was gonna create a little uh, sit down area for Mila just because she's more interactive so I was gonna move the rocking chair out of her room and create like one of those little not teepees but one of those little bed covers um, so I need to get a ring, but this was only five bucks and it comes with two panels. Uh, this is actually for curtains. You can put these through uh, the rod and then clip the curtains so they slide quicker. Um, and that's one of the reasons I purchased these. I'm just gonna put them on the round rod and use these to clip them so you can slide them in and out very easily um, without having to pull you know, too hard. Um, another thing I picked up was these straws. So we've been uh, drinking shakes every single morning um, and I purchased these I think at Kroger which is like a local grocery shop here in Atlanta. Um, but they're like larger straws um, and they're really really fun. How many do they have in here? They have a hundred in here. Really cool colors. Uh, so I was running out of these but they were only like 98 cents and I tried to um, use them every single morning or whenever we do have a shake for breakfast um, I give one for Ryan and I use one myself so I kind of you know like it plus it was only 98 cents and the second thing I bought or third or fourth whatever number this is um, is these little um, toilet bowl cleansers they're only 98 cents um, I have like a really good one that I have I think in our restroom but these were so cheap that I was gonna put you know one in each bathroom so I don't have to carry my other one um, you know just cuz they're just doing a dirty job so it's not a big deal of you know I don't care about it being fancy or stainless steel just cuz I think it's kind of gross anyway so um, if I have to replace some, I have to replace them. They're only a dollar, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I bought a little glass canister. This is for the soap. Uh, this is a soap dispenser. Um, and the cool thing is, I think you can use it for gel as well and foam, but I'll have to check it out. But it's like a white plastic cap with a glass bowl or a glass um, canister. Uh, we needed one for our bathroom because I've been just using uh, the canister from uh, the soap that I would actually purchase but I'm buying the re refills instead um, that way you know I'm not paying more money for purchasing single soap items so that's another thing and I think it was only like two dollars or something so kitchen item I bought is these uh, they're kind of like a Corel a dish mock and I have Corel dishes. They wash very well. I mean, they come out white like this every single time. They're super shiny. They're very easy to wash. Um, and plus, if they ever fall on the floor, they don't break. And these, I think, were like a dollar um, a piece. So I bought four. I have some square bowls, but um, I wanted some round ones just for like soup, cereal. They're a good size. So this was kind of a kitchen buy that I had. Um, also, I bought these, and I know some people are like, what are you going to use these for? What are these, like, oil? Um, are you pour, pouring oil into something in the kitchen? But a lot of times, um, 
like I'm trying to fill in oil to a different bottle or um, trying to put something, uh, some kind of a liquid into a smaller bottle um, because I'm reusing my uh, coffee mate jars or uh, canisters. It's really hard sometimes to do like rice, so I have to stand there and use my hand as one of these things, and then the rice spills all over or any kind of grain while I'm, you know, opening up the bag and actually putting them into those canisters so I can have my pantry organized. So this is a good way for me to be able to pour whatever liquid or solid or grain into those bottles or jars um, and baby food stuff. Um, so it was only like 98 cents and it comes with like this one and this one so this is a, like a little sippy cup um i had bought her another sippy cup and it was like by a latch bottle she doesn't really like it so i figured maybe if i buy a plastic one instead of the actual nipple she'll know that this is something different um this is definitely not like leak proof uh this is something that you would serve you know your child uh, maybe while they're eating dinner or lunch or whatever and if you wanted to put some juice or water so you, when you're monitoring them you know she can try drinking it and i think this was only like two dollars or so so i've been mean, meaning to buy one of these things um this is actually for uh, baking so if you make like biscuits or different kind of breads you can you know use some butter to uh, spread it all over like melted butter on top um, or a glaze if you're putting a glaze on top this was only like uh, I think a dollar or something um, and so it was pretty cheap and that's not something that I have and a lot of times when I go to a grocery store I don't think about picking up those extra items because they do add up um, however it does help you in the long run to be able to you know quickly and efficiently cook or bake whatever it is that you're trying to make so it's another thing I picked up so I was looking for a shade for a certain item and um, I ended up finding this light instead um, and I think it actually comes with a cord I think it was $30 this is what it looks like it's like a really long piece with a wooden thing and i'll open it up for you guys um i think it was 30 dollars and on clearance they had several of these for seven dollars so i was like hey you know seven dollars usually a shade costs more than that so i was like i am going to get this and make it work so let's see so it comes with these plastic pieces of course you have to assemble it these plastic pieces I thought it was a hanging cord, but it's okay. I can still make it work. So it comes like this. So I'm gonna assemble it for you guys and show you what it looks like, but it was only $7. So if you're looking for like a pendant or a light fixture, um, you know, sometimes you can find them at the clearance section and there's nothing wrong with this, nothing wrong. Uh, it was not open before, it was a brand new box. It was $30 and I only got it for $7, so. All right, you guys, it took me about 20 minutes to assemble if not more, but this is what it looks like. It almost kind of resembles one of those little shredder things that you get for the kitchen, um, like a cheese shredder. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm gonna put this piece, but um, I mean, I like it. The only thing I have to say is <laughs> it is really hard to assemble. Um, I could really see why this was $7 and why people didn't want to buy it or if they did buy it it probably had a lot of returns uh, because their instructions don't have any kind of directions as far as wording so it can really frustrate people that don't you know like to not go by directions i don't really care about going by directions i actually like to go without directions because i just do it however it makes sense of course i'll look through it just to make sure that that's how it you know assembles and then i don't you know continuously sit there and look at every single instruction and that could be a good thing or a bad thing um i think i might put this piece downstairs i thought this was a pendant that actually plugs into the wall but this is actually one uh, it's like a little chandelier piece and of course it only has one light bulb but we don't really use downstairs uh besides whenever the guests come. And so I kind of wanted to create a little bit of a different ambience there. So this will be a light that will go down there. So once you pop it on, you don't want to mess with these things because 
they will probably come off pretty easily. But it's a really cute pendant light. Um, I mean, seven bucks. You can't beat the price. But hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful in any way in regards to shopping at Ikea and some of the things that I picked up. A lot of times I like to watch uh, people's hauls because it made me feel like I shopped at that place. So I hope this was a way for you to experience a shopping trip if maybe you're not, uh, um, if you don't have an Ikea beside you or if that's not something that's on your list right now is shopping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. But as always, create culture and be you and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye-bye.